Steve's. And we're not going to see the Steve chant. We're going to see her the, the, the Alex chant, which is a little bit sad. But I want to now we're going to I want to have a talk about this matchup. Um, Patui, probably probably Largo's best option as a approach to alongside that poison cloud. Yeah, the poison cloud is going to be key for um, trying to catch the Minecraft player while they are mining for resources. Um, Patui is just a very great anti-air option. Uh, like, yeah, just using it to cover platforms right there. But, you know, this is going to be rough as Piranha Plant is combo fodder, like you see there. Just, you know, standard Steve stuff, but like, Whoa. it's... Oh, yeah, playing with fire, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I never knew Patui actually activates the TNT, but I guess you could say, I don't know, like any attack that hits the TNT without a pressure point. Oh, okay, that's interesting. It looks like Minecart breaks through the armor of the down B that, that you get. Uh, and Stefan is going to quickly take that first stock. Oh, oh good All air those the walls against Stefan there. <laughs> I actually, I love that play coming out from Lardo, it's like taking advantage of the walls put there. And then the back air, that could even come out and seal that sock. Powerful move, but it is rather slow, so. <laughs> Isn't that like most back airs that are really strong, right? Or really slow, or just really fast, but relatively weak? Uh, let's not speak about Cloud's back air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that, that diamond pickaxe just spiking, doing so much damage. Oh, I'm not gonna take okay. the stock there on that back air. I would have been crazy if he did. The anvil's a straight up miss. And there's a down B. Almost gets a shield break. That's a lot of shield damage. And there's a dash attack from Stefan. Okay, that anvil is going to connect and take the stock. Stefan's sitting at a solid 70%. Uh -oh. And oh, oh, yeah, that is looking very dangerous. Okay, both the players are able to that. If that forward arrow landed, that could have been trouble there. I mean, it did land there, but armored up into that. Down B there, the diamond, diamond sword, and oh my god, the Patui! <laughs> the Patui. Distance. From downtown, that's um interesting, but it did help him get it. It did help um, Lardo so safely get back to Sage. Text the wall, just keeping in mind that way, and there's the up smash, not going to take the stock just yet. Fishing rod, going to go ahead and push him off stage. I wonder what Stev is going to do here. Another anvil, just goes high. Yeah, I love the adaptation there, knowing that the anvil is going to come out. Oh, and the Patui catches the Elytra glide above the stage. You know, Lardo is kind of making me uh -oh. hate my Dad words, block. making this look better than I thought it would be. Yeah, he's actually looking pretty good right now. 47%, you know, maybe a couple poison clouds. Oh, the Patui actually going to destroy the minecart. Hmm. I, I know everyone's always saying, like, oh, is this character the Steve counter? Uh, this, no, this character is not the Steve counter. <laughs> oh, good oh. But Lardo is showing exactly what tools this character has in one of the hardest matchups in the game. Oh, I was looking for that backer, but I think he hit the platform before he got a chance to utilize it. And now we're seeing walls come up from Steph and another Patui plants on that minecart. Catches the Elantra into the down B. This is trouble. Okay. Join a shield, be fair on the get up. Oh, but the dash attack there. Oh, that's going to take it. But Piranha Plan was living to like about 170% there, and Stefan was like over 100%, both last stocks, so you know. Solid play coming out from Lardo. Uh, a very pleasant surprise. You can't just tell me he almost came back into this game. If if Lardo got a couple of good hits there, that could have been Stefan down 1 0. That's how close this set is. Yeah. Oh, that man, that Patui catching the Elytra, I love that. That was. So clean, but yeah, uh, we're gonna have to see, uh, no sage changes here, we're gonna have to see if Lardo's able to clutch it out this time, uh, but we're seeing immediate 42% coming out here from Stefan, uh, this is probably a bit more along the line of what I was expecting to see. <laughs> and then we see the simple combo from the heavy, the piranha plant gonna get hop on the minecart into the double up air into the triple with that dirt block, not gonna see much out of it, and there's a parry out the back air, gets the patooey and he missed! Mm. Oh, the jab there is going to just poke and prod. Ooh, oh but that God. poison <laughs> that cloud. Poison cloud. Wait, wait, that pressure? That, wait, that Patui didn't circle that pressure plate? That's interesting. Yeah, but the down B did, and somehow Lardo did not get hit by that TNT, so that's a that's a very fortunate play. Patui, once again, just destroying the minecart straight up. I mean, it's a spike ball against an iron prod. Like, it's iron versus iron. Let's think about it that way. Hmm. Oh, the gold oh. sword! Yeah, Lardo just, you know, kind of thinking like, what, what, what can you do at that point? You know, 
you have the Steve player sitting under a couple blocks, just mining away, getting better tools. And, ooh, Minecart's gonna catch that. No spike coming out, but the block is gonna help extend. Grab yeah. now coming out. There's a down B, I also didn't mention. Gordo's looking pretty desperate. He's looking at those smash attacks, but he gets that down B. Now he looks to get back into this game, but there's a diamond in play for Stefan. Yeah. Oh, the anvil clanks and then beats out Patui. Oh, okay. Very dangerous uh, situation. Yeah, reading the air dodge. Diamond F smash. That is going to take it. Solid stock lead here. 60% oh, oh, oh. off that combo. Yeah. And an anvil to break it immediately. Okay. You see a couple mine oh, cards. Mine car oh my god. Bro, <laughs> mine cards that's extra right there. That's that's just like a that's just like a mentality breaker. Like, okay, can I stop getting hit by this thing? Oh, trying to get the F smash there. Would have hit, and there's a parry out of the downbeat. That wasn't a parry. It might have been a shield break or a poke. It's yeah. 81. This doesn't look impossible, but it's not looking good for Lardo against Stefan. Yeah, it's still like stock in between these two players. Oh, that shield damage, like you said, you know, just threatening that shield break is a good tool that Lardo has at their disposal. Oh, I'm Grab surprised there. he didn't go for up throw. Yeah. yeah, it's like these throws have got to start killing soon. Like, no, nope, again, down throw. Interesting. Is, is he underestimating how heavy Piranha Plant is? Maybe. But yeah, it's sitting Do at we? 100. This is the minecart, and that's a missed tech off that anvil. Do I yeah. don't know if that would have been techable in the first place, seeing that it was 181%. Yeah. Stefan just up uh, showing why they are as good a player as they are just solidly adapting and making that game two not as close as game one was because like like you said at the end of game one a solid like combo coming out from Lodo and that could have been the game in their favor but Stefan just playing so much uh safe more safely and just overall better in that second game able to dodge out on a lot of you know piranha plants shenanigans that you know these low tiers always seem to have yeah, yeah so just, just, just goes to show you that even the low tiers can do anything in this game you know you can't take them for granted you can get destroyed by little max don't worry <laughs> oh god yeah we are familiar with that enough in this area because peanut likes to invade every now and then but yeah again low tiers always will match up check yeah but stefan not falling victim to it this time yeah, I mean, that's just goes to show you how good a Steve player can be, but also prove to be how vulnerable they can be if they're left unchecked. You know, each side, you know, each flip of the coin. Yeah, absolutely. And while we didn't see Lard Lardo wasn't able to, you know, completely like drown Stefan out of resources, but you know, just the the times Lardo was able to get in, they got so much off of their interactions. You know, Poison Cloud's such a big tool for putting on damage with that character. And, like, once you get, like, over 100% against Piranha Plants, you can't go off stage or else you risk losing your stock.